Garage Garage. Um, yeah, this is just another quick update. But, yeah. Here is my big other mess. As you can possibly tell and see that I have everything I own in my household stuff, my son's bed, all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah. So this week and next week is sorting everything out, setting everything up, all the household stuff over on the other side, um, model stuff for the model business on the one side, all that sort of stuff. This whole area here and that all the way over here is just going to be holy solely the YouTube channel and my panel, making the panels up. I'm hoping to order in this week the English Will, the Punishing Hammer, and um, the Speed Roller as well. But I've just realised the other day that my little tiny little air compressor that I've had since 2006 is cacking itself. It's actually, I don't know if you can see it, it was a little bit. chamber there, I'm actually getting the oil in the, oil, uh, in the airline, so um, unfortunately to order the bead roller, the English wheel, and uh, the punishing hammer is going to actually take up everything I've got. So if anyone has a bigger compressor, um, bolt driven, maybe a 160 litre tank, and that, that can possibly run my spray guns and uh, down on the shelf here I have uh, the only four air tools that I actually own dog grinder, air grinder um, air saw, circular saw thing uh, and an uh, air drill so I'm needing to be able to run them and run my two spray guns. So, so yeah, so if anyone got one that they're not using, um, or who fits us up with one, um, or if possible, that's someone who, that's got a little bit of time to set it up and go from me. Um, account for an air compressor that'd be good because I'm going to be quite busy for the next couple of weeks and plus I don't have the internet to be able to do that um, so I'm going to go back to my parents place or jump down to the town library and use their internet for my phone so uh, any help would be appreciated also on the go for this week too is I um, picked up a seal to do another one of these uh, uh, brake boosters, um, master cylinders. So now I have one already new in stock. Uh, so that's a brand spanking new one, never been used, it's still in the original packaging. Now, they actually do retail for $95. I went and checked locally at three places or four places. That do them so because I've got that one in stock, I'm willing to do that one for 80 bucks and that and pretty much postage because um, of the weight. Um, but that's anywhere within Australia, so if you're needing one for your HR, HD, anything like that, let us know. Uh, this one I picked up a kit to, um, to do the clutch. Um, on the brake, um, and that, so because apparently they, they have this bit in if it's a brake cylinder, it has this one in it, 
or brake masters on. It's a clutch, it doesn't have it. So, uh, that one there I'm not 100% sure on. So, you'll find out if you actually used it. Um, and that, so, that's plans to get that done up. So, then I've got one very conditioned one here. And then I have up top, I also have. Um, Another three or one break, original break. Um, so I'll be getting the kits in and getting all them done eventually as well. So, um, but once again, if you've got one and you need one, I'm willing to do exchange. So you send me your old one and that, and I'll drop the price down on the reconditioned one. Alright, everyone. Um, so that's just a little bit of an update. Just about to show you about it a little bit. Um, hopefully when it's all set out, um, I'll have like the English wheel and that and the big roller going down through here. Um, and yeah. <gasps> Excuse me. So that's the goal here. Um, and that possibly may end up trying to jack the wagon up and turn it around that way a bit. Just to free up a little bit more space. Because um, yeah, if it's around that way, I've got a little bit more space then. But up over the where the pink board is, um, let's uh, come across a gentleman, his name's Paul, he's local to the Bundy area. He uh, does like an industrial style rack, he's got really heavy duty ones um, that um, hold up to 900 kilos a shelf. Um, then he's got the next size down, which um, I'm planning on getting two sets from him. Um, he's hooking me up with them. One's going over beside the pegboard board there, then that will be moved across a little bit more. And, that, and then there'll be another one there. Now they're two metres high, by two, two metres high, two metres wide, and they're about 500 um, deep, so they're, they're a pretty good break. So I'll stick, uh, stick some photos of the racks up on the Facebook page uh, and that and I can so everyone can have a squeeze um, and that he is willing to deliver in the Bundaberg area as well so if you're from Bundy and you need some shelves I'll stick his details up on the Facebook page and get from there. Once um, I've got the shelves and we're putting them up um, I'll probably do a bit of a video as we're doing putting them up and uh, then uh, do a bit of a product review as I set the shelves up um, because these tubs down here I've got like, eight or so of them and, and uh, another style um, like that that will be going up there as well as cardboard boxes and that sort of stuff just to get things up off the ground and, and uh, yeah more space so as you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven. Yeah, I've got a few containers. Uh, about eight or so containers. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, can't wait to get that sorted out there. Do a bit of a bit of a sort out video kind of thing, speed up the food, move things around and all that sort of stuff. Video, uh, music, so, no, it, but, yeah. so all that, open all up, right down, 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 right